In today's video, I'll be sharing with you some Valentine's Day decor DIYs. This is part of the five for five dollar open playlist that's hosted every month by Missy from Crafty Cove DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic. Their guest host this month is Ellie from DIY from House to Home. Links for all their channels in this playlist are in the descriptions and you'll want to check those out because this month's theme is Valentine. Now for DIY number one, I'll be using this wood truck and some Conversation Hearts stickers from Dollar General and some pink eraser apple barrel acrylic paint. I painted the whole truck with pink. I didn't want a lot of different colors on the truck because I want the little foam conversation hearts to stand out. I painted both sides so you could look at it from either side and it still looks nice. And then I decided to put some ballet slipper on the tires and that little rail that's on the truck bed just to give it a little more detail. Once dry, I started adding those little conversation parts to them. Oh, this is the stand that the truck is, that was provided for the truck to stand on. And there you'll see I'm adding those little foam stickers on top of the wood cutouts that was already on the truck. And this is how it turned out. That it looks good from both sides. And it was easy peasy. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I'd like to say welcome. This is where you'll see Pinterest projects, thrift flips, trash to treasure, decorating, Dollar Tree DIYs, and shopping hauls. If that interests you, please subscribe. Now for DIY number two. I'll be using some of this tiny tea roses from Dollar Tree, one of their cloches, some moss rocks, and some celery colored Waverly chalk paint. I didn't like that the black was just so stark so I lightened it up with the paint. And then once I was done I measured to see how much I needed to cut those roses to get a good height within the little plastic cloche. I put some glue on the bottom of that hole in the center and put that main taller rows right in there. Now I'm going to add some more of the roses and what I did to hold them in place is I just set them down and put one of the moss stones against it like so and I went all the way around. Once I put it together I brought out some of these little table scatter glare hearts from Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing is just kind of sealing that cloche top on with the hot glue and a heart on top. The last thing I did was add a sweet little bow on top with some scrap ribbon I had and I think it turned out oh so sweet. DIY number three, I'll be using these heart cutouts from Dollar Tree one of their little wood pallets and a wood tray. I'll also use some twine from Dollar Tree. For the tray, I'm painting the bottom with ballet slipper. Bottom only, I wanted to leave the sides natural color. Then I also painted one of those hearts. The second color I'm going to add to what you would call the back of the palette, I'm going to use it as a front, and I'm using the Waverly Chalk Paint and the color Lacquer. It is so pretty. And same thing here, I want to leave the edges natural and cover everything else on that one side. Now 
Now here I'm going to pull out a good length of twine and get that ready. What I'm going to do is put these pieces all together with hot glue. I glued the palette on top of the tray, then the heart in the center of that. And now I'm going to take that twine and wrap it around. I started by putting a dot of hot glue down to hold one of the ends. And then just wrapped it around and around that heart. And a final touch, I'm going to add a little tassel made with the same twine. As I was looking at it, I thought it needed just a tad bit more. So what I did was I came in with some Scrabble tiles. And I'm spelling out the word love on the top of that little palette, L-O-V-E. And this turned out so adorable. Now for DIY number four. I'll be using some of these peonies and amaranthus from Dollar Tree as well as this Dollar Tree wood heart. I'm gonna leave the heart natural colored. You'll notice I do quite a bit of that. I love natural colored wood. Now taking the amaranthus, I'm gonna snip off three pieces of that. Leaving just a little bit of the stem beyond the the bud just like so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue all of those together in this section in the middle on the top of that wood slat heart like so then I'm gonna use a big bloom off of this peony bush and put it over that but you'll notice in the final reveal that I didn't stick with that color. I thought it was too bright for the amaranth that's hanging down. Here I'm showing I took the smaller ones from the other color and put on the sides. And there's where I've replaced the large one in the middle with a more subdued color and it looks so much better. Now for DIY number five, this is my final one. I'm using some more wood cutouts from Dollar Tree, this dip tray, a little bit of paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna fill up the holes on three of those hearts with some lightweight speckle. The next thing I do is add some paint. I'm using Waverly chalk paint in white ballet slipper and apple barrel paint in light pink. While those are drying, I'm going to work on the tray. I'm putting some Mod Podge in the bottom of each of those sections and added some paper that I have already pre-cut into squares right down in the bottom. Once I got them stuck down with Mod Podge, I went around with a damp cloth to get that excess off the plastic. And they're looking like this. The hearts are just a tiny bit too large to go all the way down into that tray. So what I'm going to do is use some pearl beads that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm using three on each one, like so. And it actually gives a different dimension and looks so much better than it would have had I put them flat in the bottom. And now they fit perfectly. The 
The last thing to do here is add a little bit of lace as a hanger. And I'm going to put it on like so with the ruffled edges on the outside on both of those strands. Put some hot glue on top and just a little piece of cardboard that was handy. And there's how that turned out. Some may say plain, I say understated. Thank you so much for watching my video today and be sure to go check out the playlist. I have a link provided in the description box. And until next time, bye-bye.